What's going on, everybody? I would like to welcome you to the Godly Potential Podcast. And those of you watching from YouTube, so those of you who don't know, for the Godly Potential Podcast, this is a podcast pretty much where I talk about anything that's interesting to me at the moment, any topics that I feel are pretty necessary for anybody in pretty much my journey, things I've done that I feel could help others if need be. But in this particular video and podcast, I want to touch on something that's extremely important. So, when I woke up today, in my head I just had this this saying repeating over and over in my head. The saying was, never bow your head. Just over and over and over again. This saying, just do not bow your head. Never bow your head. Never walk around with your head bowed. And I was confused because I don't walk around with my head bowed. I have once before when I was younger, but I haven't walked around with my head bowed in quite some time. And so I was confused because I knew that it wasn't dealing with me. More so, I should talk about this. So, many of you probably notice when you're walking around the streets, walk around wherever, when you pass somebody, either they got their head bowed or they get nervous, get scared or anxious or something. You walk past somebody, pull out their phone looking down or they just, you know, they just got their head bowed. And... There are studies shown that your posture has a lot to do with your confidence level. There's a study where they study chimps and either chimps or gorillas, one of them, and pretty much how the alpha male would always make itself bigger or any, any animal for that nature. They would make themselves bigger when they're in a dominant position or they display in authority pretty much and so anyway this experiment they had a group of people where they had to zip line off a off a ledge into whatever anyway so they had let's say i don't know the exact number but for this example say they had 10 people and five of those people before getting on the zip line, took up a posture of pretty much bowing down, making himself as small as possible, put him in a more submissive position. So they held that position for, let's say, five minutes. And another group, the remaining five people, they had them pretty much just make themselves as big as possible, like a, like a fucking peacock or whatever. And pretty much they would stand up there, arms stretched out, just, just the biggest posture you can think of. So anyway, after they held that position for about five minutes or so, they had each one of them zip line down. Now the group of the people that were pretty much cowering or in a submissive position on average took about, I want to say, two to three minutes longer to go down the zip line than it did of the person displaying that dominant position. And not only that, just that shit says a lot about what's going on inside you can look at a motherfucker that's just just crouched down just you know just slumped over terrible ass posture like they got a fucking shell on the back or something just it's, it's just all bad you know and like it just it just you just know either either consciously or on a subconscious level like this person's unsure of themselves they're insecure or they're hiding something because they're trying to make themselves small as possible 
and especially for this is an example for men. So when we when we're seated, when we're seated or whatever, we tend to have our legs spread. For one, it's for our genitalia, but also it takes up more space. It shows that we're in the we're secure in ourselves. We're dominant, opposed to if you see someone just just like I said before, make themselves as small as possible. It just shows you that they're in a submissive position. Now, that's main. That example is mainly geared towards men, because ladies, I don't want to. I don't expect to see a lady with their legs just spread all wide, just just because you know why. And so that those those postures is yells void and I'm big on body language I study body language and um, it's one of the main things if you're ever conversing with someone or before even you're just observing them just looking at them just or have you ever like been out about in a restaurant waiting for your food or whatever in the club and you're just observing your surroundings you can just pick apart people it's like all right that person is confident that person's unsure of themselves that person's not interested they're ready to leave look at their feet position like the endless fucking cues examples what have you and like basically what i'm trying to say is don't walk around with your fucking head bowed keep your head up like I said earlier, or I don't even know if I did. I'm just flowing right now. I used to walk around with my head down, just like the majority of people nowadays, too. And even when I started to correct myself, I would look up when somebody walked past, and automatically my eyes would dart down and my head would want to follow. So once you start doing this shit, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time. It's going to be rough at first because you're going against all that programming. Say you're 24 years old, you're going against 24 years of program that you've been head down. And sometimes this has come from childhood. Say you grew up in not the western part of America or western part of the world, I should say. I know in some cultures, looking like making eye contact with your elders or your superiors or adults or what have you, it's a sign of disrespect. So in that case, it's going to it's going to be a lot harder to fight that. But excuse me. But if you grew up here in America, then it's going to be difficult, but not as difficult as it would for someone from say eastern part of America. But just work on it, and eventually over time, it will get better. And like I said, fucking majority of people are looking down anyway the head bowed when you when you fucking make eye contact they're gonna look away anyway and like say um say uh fellas if you're trying to trying to get a lady if you're talking to her and your eyes are fucking darting everywhere for one it says you're nervous about something that's gonna make her nervous or any person for that matter nervous it looks like you're you're fidgety, you're ready to get out of the conversation, you're not fully engaged. Just so focus on making eye contact. Have your fucking head up. Don't fucking don't fucking cower. Don't bow down. Never fucking bow your head. Even in defeat, fucking keep your head fucking raised. Even when you just fucking won and you're tired, you're fucking slumped over. That's honestly that's why I feel like besides the fact that open up your lungs, say uh, you get done during any type of sports practice, your coach will tell you to stand up, put your hands on your head. Not only does it help with the flow of oxygen or what have you, it also fucking, it fucking gives you confidence. It gives you energy just having that fucking dominant posture. So even, even if you're exhausted, you just won something instead of bending over, it's a sign of defeat. If somebody just walked in and looked at that, they would think you lost. Just fucking hitting your shoulders, fucking breathe in and breathe out just like that but never fucking about your head. And this is for fucking everybody. Teach your kids never about their fucking head, no matter what. Because like I said, it shows a sign of insecurity, um, submission, 
um, guilt, shame, just, just a number of fucking things. Just thinking about it, and um, just it shows a, a lack of pride in yourself. Like, show me someone that's winning, or that's confident, or that's successful, or that secure in themselves, that walks around with their head bowed looking up like this, like, you won't fucking find it. You, unless they're, say, hypothetically, they're a celebrity and they got their fucking, their hat pulled down, their fucking, their hoodie, their fucking, the hat on their hoodie or whatever, draped over because they're trying to hide. But just like that, it shows, a, it shows that you're fucking hiding. But anyway, this is, this is, I, I don't know, a rant of, I don't, I don't even know what to call it. I just had to get this out there. Just do not ever walk around with your head bowed. Like, ever. It's to the point where now, even for me, if I'm walking, I'll look down, look at my shoes, or something in the road, automatically a thought pops in my head. Pick your head up. My dad used to tell me that shit all the time, too. It's like, pick your head up, because my posture used to be shitting. Used to sitting down all the time, just slumped over in classrooms, what have you, just de- watching TV all the time, just develop shitty posture. My dad used to tell me all the time, keep your head up, boy, keep your, keep your head up. And at the time, I was just like, oh, I don't fucking know that. I mean, I know Tupac got a song, fucking keep your head up, but <laughs> but I didn't really know the significance in that until, until later in life where I'm like, all right, I understand now. I see what it shows because first impressions, everything. So now I fucking understand. But yeah, just take pride in yourself. Take pride in your lineage. Know that every time you go out, you're representing your entire name, your entire ancestry, entire heritage. So have some pride. Never fucking cower. Never back down. Never bow your fucking head. And just show some fucking self-respect. But anyway, this is this is all I wanted to touch on. Just a video, quick little rant or what have you. But it's been real. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of this? You know anybody that walks around cowering? bowing their head, let me know, show them this video, um, if you want to see any other content, let me know, leave a comment, personal message me, or what have you, but anyway, see you guys next time, peace.